Hello everyone, this is Leo from Generates Blocks and Generates Press. In this video, I will be showing you how to replicate Hero 14 from the template library of Generates Blocks Pro. Let's get started. First, I've created a new page called Hero 14 and I'm going to set the content container in Generates Press to full. Let's go ahead and start with a container block. In the layout panel, we will go with full width outer container, contained inner container, 1200 pixel in width and element tag div, it's fine. Next, let's go to the spacing panel. For this, we will go with 120 pixels of top padding, 240 pixels of bottom padding, and 40 on the left and 40 on the right. Next, let's jump to the background image section first and upload our background image. We will use pseudo element here so we can apply a background gradient to it later. Size will be cover position, we will go with left center. No repeat and attachment scroll. Now let's apply our background gradient. We'll turn it on. We will use pseudo element direction 135 color we will go with a blue 0 0.4 for opacity color 2 we will go with the same color and opacity of one. Next, let's add some shapes. For this one, we will go with one of the triangles. Color will be white. Location bottom, height will be 80 pixels, width will be 100%, and we will use Z index of 3 to bring it above the picture. Let's add our second shape. Again, we will use the same triangle, which is triangle 10. This time we will go with a yellow. Location bottom again. Height, we used 80 pixel last time. And this one, we will go with 120 pixels width 100% and Z index will be 2. Now that we are done with the container, let's add a grid wrapper inside the container block.
we will go with 100% grid to start with. And we will choose horizontal alignment right. Let's use our block navigation to select the container inside the grid and set it to 33%. Inside the container, we will add a headline block. Adding our text, and we will set it to heading one. Go to the spacing options, we will use 40 pixels of bottom margin. Next, we will open the colors options and set the text color to white. Next, we will add a buttons block. Adding our text, let's go to the spacing panel, set the top padding to 10 pixels, right 0, bottom 0, left 25 pixels. We will go with two pixels of top border and left border. Let's tweak the colors. Background color, we will be using transparent. Text color is white is good. Border color, we will go with the yellow. For hover color, we will again clear the background color. Text color, we will go with the yellow. And same as the border color. The last step is the icon. We will add in the SVG HTML, icon location, we will go with right, increase the icon size to 1.6 EM. That should be it. Let's take a look. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.